Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna be diving into snowmaking science topics. We're gonna go through a few different topics here. We're gonna go through how snowflakes form in nature, how the snow gun itself works. We'll go into detail on the difference between commercial and residential snowmaking. We'll look at misting nozzles, what the nucleator on the snow gun is used for, how it works. We'll touch on some other home snow gun designs, and we'll go into detail on backyard snowstorm snow gun design. In the atmosphere, there's small microscopic dust particles floating around and the same thing with water droplets in the form of humidity and under the proper conditions those water droplets will collide with a microscopic dust particle and when the temperature and humidity are low enough that water droplet will freeze onto that dust particle and it will freeze into a very very small ice crystal. Continuing with that ice crystal that's formed will start to collide with other water droplets that are up in the atmosphere. When those those other water droplets collide with that ice crystal, they will attach and they'll freeze onto that ice crystal or the nucleus. Once they attach onto the nucleus, they'll orient themselves according to the molecular structure of the ice crystal. As they gain mass, it'll start to fall. As it attaches to those other water droplets, it will continue to build and other water droplets will freeze onto the nucleus as it falls towards the ground. That is what actually creates what we know as a snowflake. Every snowflake is different, but they're all oriented according to the molecular structure of the ice crystal. Snow guns and snowmaking systems replicate that same process, but it replicates it on the ground using equipment, pumps, water, reservoirs. All of that replicates the same process, but in a little bit of a different way. There's a few different parts of a snowmaking system. There is two main parts on the snow gun, misting nozzles and a nucleator. Misting nozzles produces the bulk water spray. So we can think of these misting nozzles as the water that would be occurring naturally in the atmosphere in the form of humidity. It's those water droplets that are up in the atmosphere, but we use pressurized water and push them through nozzles in order to create a bulk water spray. They still need a nucleation site. In nature, we have dust particles that can act as a nucleation site for water droplets to freeze onto. In a snow gun, we need to create those nucleation sites. A nucleator is a combination of fittings that project microscopic ice crystals into the bulk water spray, and the teeny ice crystals that are produced in the nucleator will act as nucleation sites for the bulk water spray. So the same process that would happen in nature happens much closer to the ground, happens a lot quicker, and we use this different equipment in order to do it. Let's talk a little bit about commercial versus residential snowmaking. There are a lot of differences here. The main one is going to be water flow or snow output. With commercial system, typically they're going to be somewhere between 30 to 100 gallons per minute of water flow per snow gun. It's a lot of water moving through that snow gun due to the need that these resorts have for making high quantity of snow. Residential, we are limited by the equipment, by power available at your home, and by the amount of water that a home can output. Typically these systems are 1 to 12 GPM. It's about 10 times as small as a commercial snowmaking setup. Commercial systems can cost millions of dollars. There's a lot of pumps. There's large equipment. They'll have watersheds. They'll have reservoirs. A lot of investment in order to get the water pumped throughout the mountain underneath the ground. A lot of different things that go into a commercial setup. A lot more money involved. And then residential, as we know, we use household equipment, pressure washers and air compressors. Those are the main differences. There's a lot more differences in design. Commercial has more features typically and more adjustment that you can have. Residential snow guns typically isn't needed because of smaller equipment that we use. Let's talk about misting nozzles. It provides the means by which the bolt water spray will exit the snow gun. The nozzles are important to shear water into the proper size for that to happen. So as water enters the snow gun, we're gonna fasten certain nozzles into the head of the snow gun that are matched to the flow rate of the pressure washer. With a typical household pressure washer, it's gonna be positive displacement pump, which means that it can output a certain GPM and it can go up to a max pressure. It's just gonna keep pumping that water at a fixed rate. And when we put those nozzles in the head, we're putting the nozzles in order to create an overall pressure in the snow gun and when we get to that pressure then it's going to produce a certain size water droplet and those water droplets are going to be anywhere from 500 to 1500 microns in diameter that'll just depend on the amount of nozzles the size of nozzles the combination of those two with the flow rate of the pressure wash that's the typical size 
that you're gonna see with a home snowmaker and with commercial snowmakers is water droplets in that size. And that's the right size of water droplet that when it collides with a dust particle or a nucleation site and under those proper weather conditions, it's gonna be able to freeze and continue to make snow. The nucleator is gonna create small ice crystals as nucleation sites for the bulk water spray. The nucleator will use a combination of air and water to do that. So compressed air and smaller amount of water will mix together in a nozzle or a series of nozzles will shear the water droplets into very small ice crystals. They're going to be 30 to 70 microns in diameter and it will freeze very quickly as it exits the nozzle and those frozen ice crystals as they are projected into the bulk water spray will freeze onto the ice crystals. Let's talk a little bit about some other home snow gun designs. The first style of snow gun is an external style nucleation. And what this is, if you look at this first picture, you can see that there's two nozzles up top. Those are the misting nozzles. And then that bottom nozzle is actually two nozzles. One of them is gonna be an air nozzle that is fastened, that's projecting air straight out from the snow gun. And then that nozzle that's going straight up is a water nozzle and it's shooting a small stream of water. These air and water streams mix outside of the snow gun. The air and water as they mix, the compressed air will break those water droplets down into really small ice crystals for nucleation. So that's the first style that you'll see is the external style. On the right, this design will use an internal style nucleation. We can see the top three nozzles on this design are the misting nozzles, they're the bulk water spray. And then that bottom nozzle is the nucleation spray. That bottom nozzle is gonna be a combination of air and water that is mixing inside of the piping before it exits a single nozzle. The air and water will shear those water drops inside of the piping before it exits the nozzle and then it's projected out into the main bulk water spray. Both of these styles have their pros and cons. The first thing is with a internal style nucleation design, there's a lot of risk of water backflow in this design. When you turn on your pressure washer, you have a valve. The valve hopefully is shut, but if it's not, then you turn that pressure washer on, water can actually backflow into the air line. And when it backflows, into the airline, it can actually go all the way back into the air compressor itself and it will damage the air compressor. With this design, there's a lot of risk of backflow that can damage equipment. Same thing for the air. If you don't turn on the water and you turn on the air, it could backflow the other way. So there's a few different ways that it backflow happen. With the external style nucleation, you don't have that risk of backflow since the water and air mix outside of the snow gun itself. Because it's external, you turn on the water first, it's not going to backflow. As far as efficiency goes, the internal style nucleation have more efficient mixing since the water and air is mixed inside of that nozzle and it shears a little bit more evenly. It's more of an even distribution of ice crystals that are projected. With the external style, the water and air as they mix outside of the gun, a lot of energy is lost before those streams mix. There's a little bit of less efficiency in mixing and it can be a larger distribution of small water droplet sizes. Operationally, the external is a lot easier to operate typically because you can turn on the system you can kind of walk away and there's not really any risk of things not working out since the air nozzle and the water nozzle and that are fixed it's a set orifice size you turn both air and the water on you don't have to adjust anything with the internal style nucleation there's a lot more adjusting with this picture there's going to be a knob that you have to adjust the amount of air and water and so that's one of the cons as well with the internal style nucleation touching on the backyard snowstorm nucleation design we have used both of the other designs, the external and internal, and we use a commercial style nucleation nozzle that's been customized to our snow gun itself. Uh, this diagram on the left hand side, you can see a, a breakdown of the different components. We have a fitting that air and water pass through, they don't mix until this top chamber, and that reduces any water backflow issues. Water will go into one side, air will go on the other, and in that fitting right above the main rectangular body, they're still separated, but they are mixed into the same plane. Now they're both traveling upwards. The water will exit that really, really small spire and then air will exit on both sides of that spire and then mix in that external chamber. This nozzle is a commercial grade. It's found on commercial snow guns. It has superior mixing due to the external chambers. The water in there are actually mixing in that chamber, but it's not inside of the piping like a true internally mixed snow gun. The external chamber is customized and it matches the spray pattern of the bulk water sprays. In this bottom picture, you can see on the top the bulk water spray and it's spraying at a 65 degree angle. The bottom nucleation
aeration spray is designed to match that. And it's spraying at 65 degrees so that the water can be nucleated. And then from the side profile, you can also see that we have the nucleation spray coming out almost parallel to the main bulk water spray and then also up at an angle, about a 30 degree angle. We have some more information on our website, backyardsnowstorm.com slash learn. It's using multiple pressure washers to increase snow output, comparison between the snow guns we offer, recommended equipment and setups, frequently asked questions. Thanks for watching and have a great day.